Now, let's have example number 7. So, uh, ang magiging display natin would be uh, an inverted triangle and uh, from, anibawa, nag-encode ang user ng 5. And ang magiging display niya is sa first row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second row, 2, 3, 4, 5. Third row, 3, 4, 5. Fourth row, 4, 5. And sa fifth row, 5 na lang. So, inverted triangle siya. And yung number natin is from 1 hanggang sa in-input number ng user. So, tingnan natin yung C++ source code natin. So, again, meron tayong 3 variables. X, Y, Z. Ang X is para sa input ng user. Y is para sa number of rows natin. And ang C is number of display ng number sa bawat rows natin. So, meron tayong for loop statement. Uh, outer for loop, inner for loop, and then ang uh, flow ng ating for loop statement would be initialization, condition, and then kapag ang sagot sa condition ay true, i-perform mo yung code of block, and then tsaka mo i-increment ang value ng iyong variable, and kapag false na ang sagot sa iyong for loop statement, that's the time to terminate the for loop statement. So, let's perform now the walkthrough. So, halimbawa nag-encode ang user ng 4 uli sa ating uh, program. So, i-accept ia natin ang value ng uh, in-encode ng user at ilalagay natin sa variable x. And then, sa ating for loop statement, sabi ay uh, ang initialization natin y is equal to 1. So, yung y natin is magiging 1. And then, i-test natin siya sa ating condition. Yung 1 ba is less than equal sa x. So, that is true. So, i-perform natin yung inner for loop natin. So, yung z daw natin is equal sa y. Z is equal to Y, so magiging 1 din yung value ng ating Z. And then, i-test natin siya sa ating condition. Yung 1 is less than equal sa X. 1 is less than equal sa X, so that is true. Perform natin ng C out. Ang value natin is 1 sa display natin. Perform natin yung C++ plus plus, uh, Z plus plus or increment the value of your Z. Magiging na siyang 2. Test sa condition. 2 is less than equal sa 4, so that is true. C out natin yung ating Z. Increment the value of your z, magiging 3. I-test sa condition, 2 is less than equal sa x. Uh, z is, rather, z is less than equal sa x, so that is true again. Perform natin yung z out, then display natin yung 3. I-increment natin ang value ng ating z, magiging na siyang 4. Ang 4 ba is less than equal sa x, so since may equal sign pa rin tayo, equal silang dalawa. Perform yung z out, display natin ng 4. Increment the value of your z, magiging na siyang 5. And then, 5 ba is less than equal sa x. So, this time, false na ang sagot natin. Babalik na tayo sa first for loop natin. This time, increment natin ang value ng ating y, which is 2. Yung 2 ba is less than equal sa 4. So, that is true. I-perform na natin uli yung ating inner for loop. Ang z daw natin is equal uli sa y natin. So, magiging uh, 2. Yung 2 ba is less than equal sa x. So, that is uh, true. Perform natin ng z out. Magigitong 2. Increment the value of your z. Magigit siyang 3. Perform the condition. Yung 2 ba, or rather yung 3, is less than equal sa 4. So, that is true. Z out natin yung value ng 3. Increment the value of z. Magiging 4. And then, yung 4 ba is less than equal sa x. So, true pa rin ang sagot. Easy out natin yung ating z. Magiging 4 ang display natin. And then, uh, increment the value of your z. Magiging siyang 5. Ang 5 ba is less than equal sa x. So, false na ang sagot natin dito. So, ito terminate na natin ito at babalik tayo sa ating first for loop. Increment the value of your y. Magiging na siyang 3. Y++. Plus plus, and then, test it to your condition. Yung 3 ay less than equal ba sa x. So, that is true. Perform muli natin ang second for loop. Z is equal to y. So, magigitong 3. And then, yung 3 ba is less than equal sa x. So, that is true. Easy out natin ang value ng ating z. Magiging 3. And then, increment the value of your z. Magiging siyang 4. Ang 4 ba is less than equal sa x. So, that is true. Easy out natin yung z. And then, uh, increment ulit natin yung value ng ating z. Magiging siyang 5. Ang 5 ba is less than equal sa x. 
or yung 5 ba is less than equal sa 4. So that is false. Terminate the second for loop. Balik tayo sa ating first for loop. This time, increment the value of your y. Magiging na siyang 4. At itest sa condition, 4 less than equal sa x. So, since meron tayong equal, uh, true pa rin ang sagot natin dyan. So, perform natin yung ating second for loop. Z is equal to y. Magiging, tayo, magiging uh, value ng z natin is 4. And then, yung 4 ba is less than equal sa x. So, that is true. C out natin yung 4. And increment the value of your C. Magiging na siyang 5. Ang 5 ba is less than equal sa uh, 4. So, this time, false na ang sagot. So, i-terminate natin ang second for loop. Balik tayo sa first for loop. And nag-i-increment na tayo dito ng uh, value ng ating y. And then, test natin sa condition. Yung 5 ba is less than equal sa 4. So, this time, false na ang sagot sa ating first for loop. And then, ito na yung time para i-terminate na yung ating for loop statement. At ito ang magiging display natin sa ating uh, screen. And that's for our example number 7 para sa triangle number pattern natin. At uh, abangan nyo kami sa last example na natin sa susunod na video para mas maintindihan niyo ang gamit ng for loop at uh, makatulong ito para sa inyong programming. Uh, sa, lalo na sa mga first year uh, students. Okay? So, uh, goodbye for now.